in today's video we will be making some pineapple glazed butterfly chicken I know the holiday is quickly approaching and this is an amazing recipe you will enjoy with your family and your friends so guys the first step to this recipe is preparing your chicken now I already washed and cut off the excess fat of my chicken and I just cut this down in the middle here you want to cut this on the back side of the chicken and I took out the bone the back bone from the chicken and this is what it's looking like here I'm just gonna use this pan here to season my chicken it's gonna give me enough space now now that we have our chicken here we'll place this on the side and prepare our seasoning for it here to my plate I have some black pepper paprika chicken bouillon complete seasoning onion and garlic powder I have some old bay and some Chinese spice I am also going to use one pack of Cezanne and this is the one with the saffron in it so um, it's not the really bright orange color it will give you a nice orange yellow color that will give your chicken a nice brown color that you're looking for after it's finished baking now here I have some green seasoning and you can prepare your green seasoning to the way you like it anything you want to add into it you can add anything you want to subtract you can um, I'm going to use half cup of this I'm also going to use a little bit of ginger and this is the puree store-bought ginger I got this from Costco if you're interested and I'm also going to use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil you can use any oil of your choice this is the only one I have in hand so this is the one I'll be using today now you want to grab yourself a bowl and I'm gonna add in all my dry ingredients to the bowl and now you're gonna open your sazan and you want to add it in here as well and to this I'll go in with two tablespoons of olive oil and here I already added one tablespoon of the ginger paste and now I'm gonna go in with my green seasoning now you want to mix this to make sure that all the ingredients are combined evenly now that everything is nicely incorporated you're gonna just place this on the side and we'll bring our chicken back to the board I'm using this pan because it will give me enough space to season the chicken now you want to go in with your seasoning just pour a little bit on top here and just massage the seasoning under the skin and everywhere on top of the chicken just get all under the skin here so guys a little story when I was when I now started baking chicken this is the way I used to bake my chicken because I was so intimidated by baking a whole chicken I would always cut it down in the middle and you know do this butterfly chicken here I know the professional name is called spotchcock chicken but for me I like to say butterfly yeah. this is how I would do my chicken when I was um, now learning to cook and to bake chicken this is what I would do now I get to cook bake a whole chicken but I'm just doing this recipe and you know this butterfly style for some of the people that have the same fear as me you know I always used to think oh I wouldn't know if it's cooked inside how would I know if it's cooked inside <laughs> and I you know I let my fear get over me and I would just cut it down in the middle and never try doing it by baking the whole chicken I'm just gonna use up all the remaining seasoning here and I'm just gonna massage this nicely on the top so now that we already have our chicken here I'm gonna place this in my bowl 
after I finish seasoned my chicken, I transfer it to this bowl and I'm going to cover it and allow it to sit for about four hours. If you have more time, you can go ahead and allow it to sit for four to six hours or even overnight. Now, while our chicken is marinating, we'll go work on the pineapple sauce. Now to make your pineapple glaze, I have here my small saucepan. I'm gonna turn my stove on to medium heat, medium low. And to that, I will add in some pineapple juice. Now I want the pineapple juice to come up to a nice hot temperature before we add anything else to the pot. So now while our pineapple juice is coming up to a nice hot temperature, I have here a quarter cup of water and I'm going to add in half tablespoon of cornstarch. Now just mix your cornstarch in the water. Once it's nicely mixed in, we'll just place this on the side and we'll get started with the next step. Now to your pineapple juice, go ahead and add in a piece of rosemary or two piece. And I'm gonna add in about eight to 10 all spice and this is the brand I'm using and here I'm gonna go in with some brown sugar now we want to mix this and make sure that all the ingredients are combined here and allow it to come up to a boil so now that your pineapple juice come up to a boil you just want to lower the temperature and allow the rosemary and the all spice to release some of that flavor in the pineapple juice so we will allow this to boil on low heat for about three minutes or so and after three minutes i'm going to go in with my corn starch slurry here and we'll mix and just allow that to thicken up a bit and you don't want to raise the temperature at this time you want to allow the temperature to still be low and give your pineapple glaze time to cook so guys now that this is nice and thickened i'm just gonna turn my stove off we'll just place this on the side until we are ready for it and just so you know when it cools now it will get a little bit thicker so try not to add too much of the cornstarch you don't want it to be too thick of course all the ingredients and the measurements will be in the description box below the video now just allow this to cool down and we'll move on to the next step so guys after four hours i transfer my chicken to my baking pan that i lined with a piece of um, foil paper i'm going to go in and add some pimento seeds here all spice and i'm also going to go in with some scallions and here I'm gonna go in with some pineapple slice so that, that the chicken can start observing some of that pineapple flavor. And now I'm gonna cover it with a piece of foil paper here just to lock in all the steam in the pan so that the chicken can be cooked evenly. Now my oven is preheated to 375 degree and I will be baking this for one hour and then I'll come back and show you guys the next step. So guys, it's been an hour since my chicken is baking and we're just going to remove this cover here and check on it. And this is looking so delicious and it's smelling so, so good guys. Now what we want to do is we are going to take our pineapple glaze here and we'll dip and just brush it on generously on the top. Now once you've glazed the entire top of the chicken, we're just going to put this back in the oven and this time when we're putting it in the oven, we're not going to cover it so we will allowed us to bake uncovered until it achieved that nice golden brown top. So guys, I took my chicken out of the oven. For the second time, I've kept them in here in the oven for 35 minutes. So 
Now all that's left is for me to glaze this again with some more of that pineapple glaze. Now if you would like your chicken to be darker than this, you can leave it in the oven until it achieves that color you are looking for. But for me, I'm gonna be, I'm good with this color I have here. Whenever you're glazing your chicken for the last time, you just wanna pick up some of the sauce from the bottom of the, um, the pan and glaze it as well. So this is what my chicken is looking like at the end of it. I am gonna plate some of this up and show you guys the end result. So guys, here is the final results of our pineapple glazed butterfly chicken. I really hope you enjoy this recipe and give it a try. It's super, super easy to do. And I know you're gonna enjoy it with your family and your friends. If you do, just let me know. If you do try this recipe, please leave me a comment and let me know how it came out for you and how you like it. Also, I just want to say, if you have any of that pineapple glaze left over, you can also serve it with your chicken whenever you're serving it to your guests or, you know, as a dipping sauce. You can use it as a dipping sauce. It is so delicious by itself. As usual, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes.